Hey guys, it's Adam. It's Monday, so here is your minister's moment. Welcome to Holy Week. It is this week that we think about the things leading up to the the arrest, the trial, the crucifixion, and the resurrection of Jesus. This past Sunday kicked off with Palm Sunday, where he uh, entered Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, the triumphal entry, other people call it. An interesting week this week for Christians. Uh, me, myself, I, I, I try to put myself in Jesus' sandals. What was, what was that week like? I mean, we, we know that uh, leading up to this, he has predicted and told the disciples that he's going to die, even saying that he's going to be lifted up, he's going to be crucified. He said, told him, but don't worry, I'm coming back, okay? But, but he, he did know, at least, that by the end of this week, he was going to be dead. Passover was on the horizon. The, the, the timing of his death coinciding with Passover, the beauty of, of that, that connection, it, it's a wonderful thing. But it was also going to be, obviously, a terrible thing that Jesus was knew was on the horizon. So I, I, just the kind of person I am, I, I ask myself, okay, what did Jesus know? How much did he know leading up to this? You know, was, was he walking around the streets of Jerusalem this, this last week, knowing that in just a, a few days, he would be carrying a cross over his shoulder down that very street? Did he see the garden where Judas was going to betray him? He was going to be arrested, knowing that that was going to happen. Did he glance up at the hill of Golgotha outside of Jerusalem every once in a while and you know, just kind of stop and, and, and stare at it a little bit, knowing that that's the place that he was ultimately going to be crucified? <laughs> did, he, did he happen to walk past a, a pile of lumber in the streets, knowing that those two posts were going to be used for his cross? But was he, did, did he see a cross in town that, <laughs> let's face it, they probably reused him, that he knew was going to be that cross? Did he walk past some Roman soldiers knowing that's the one that's going to make the crown of thorns? That's the one that's going to hit me over the head? That's the one that's going to... I mean, I, I hope he didn't. I, I, just because that, that, I mean, I can't imagine how much that is to take in to... Sometimes knowing too much can be a massive burden. I, I hope Jesus didn't know all of that. But, I mean, he was God in human form. He, he knew at least some of what was coming. I just kind of, you know, ask myself how much. Either way, I, I do know this. In Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 3, it tells us <clears throat> we need to fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He knew the terrible things that were coming, but he also knew what was to come after. So many times in life we face adversity, we face uh, tough times, we face things that we don't want to face. And it is the knowing what comes after that helps get us through. Jesus knows what that's like. He knew what was coming, but he knew the relationship that we would have with him afterwards. The, the, the idea that I can save people by doing this. I will save millions and millions and millions of people by doing this. I am creating the way for people to be with me, my Father, in heaven for eternity. To him... That was worth it. I encourage you guys, for any adversity, any tough times you're going through right now, see the good that's going to come later. Tough times don't ever last forever. See the good that's coming later on. It, it, even if it ultimately is the fact that we get to spend eternity with Jesus, talk to somebody with that who has no hope, who has uh, no idea the, the gift that Jesus made available this week, almost 2,000 years ago, in his, his death, his sacrifice, <clears throat> and ultimately his rebirth. The same rebirth that is available to us, the same new life that is available to us, is available to everybody around us. Let's share that this week. It's a good thing. It is the good news. Let's share that this week with other people around us.
Love you guys. See you next time.